This is the kind of energy that can shape you into who you've always known you could be. In today's Ascension update, energies are clear. Messages have been coming through your dreams. Awaken one, light worker, star seed, indigo. This collective that's drawn to this signal. You've been following the messages, the signs, the synchronicities. You've been following your guides and you've been putting in the work in this Jedi training. You've been behind the scenes, nose to the grindstone type energy, preparing yourself for this day, for this new energy that's coming in for you. And man, are things lining up, shaping up in the Akasha. Man, are blessings coming your way. <clears throat> because you didn't take the shortcut. Because you didn't sell your soul. Because you stayed true. And you wondered why you saw what you saw. And people get ahead so easy when you had these gifts that you knew needed to be honed, needed to be cultivated. That it would take more time for this wave. What I'm receiving right now is that there's this new wave of ascended souls coming in as the way showers for the new earth. And they aren't the ones who've been tooting their horn. And in fact, that may be something that you've struggled with as an empathic soul is to advocate in a world so driven by ego, you just want to do the thing. And so maybe you struggle to self promote or to be a part of that more egoic culture. And so you wondered, you know, you watch people really play that game and get ahead in that way. And, and you wondered, you have this big vision and, and wondered when's your time going to come? Well, your time has come because the energies on the planet are shifting for the true ones, for the truth, for that channel and that sacred mystery of the gifts that you've been given. And this is for the psychics. You are the wizard of your world. Your words are casting spells and in speaking into existence the intentionality of the sculptor of spirit. So that devotion to the most high, that heart of gold, that purity of the transmission of the translation that comes through you, that unique spark of creation that you have to bring to the whole. That is the gold. That is the kingmaker energy that is coming online for you and allowing you to shape into who you've always wanted to be and who you've always imagined yourself that you could be, that you could become. And this is a blessing, big blessings coming in. So for those of you that are new to this channel, I am Asha Sun. My matrix name is Joshua Faust, which I've gone by before on this channel and rece received this name during my journeys when I was meditating by the river and came to me directly as an energy that I really resonated with. So 
that is why there's this change in the name on the channel. And it was actually something that, that elementals were whispering to me as I was meditating. It's like, Asha. And my gifts are clear audience, is that I receive and I hear messages from spirit, from the divine, from the Akasha, and I translate them. I am Akashic reader. I read the Akash. The Akash is a Sanskrit word for the space or the element of ether, right? Which is the slate of vibrations. And I am also part of emerald consciousness. And we will go more into that at another time because those that are part of that Emerald Order consciousness have not been the ones who have really been coming forward and claiming that. That is not ever something that I've been called to actually claim. But our collective, right? Because I draw those, your Vibe Attract Your Tribe that are like me, um, are not the ones out there being like, I'm this, you know, you know, so on and so forth energy. They've been the ones that have been like actually doing the work on the spiritual planes in order to carve out these pathways for the new earth to be born and and for these energies to be carved pathways to come into reality. And so you are the wizard of your world. You are the creator and the creation as one. And abracadabra means as you speak, so you create. And so you have been becoming aware of these spells and and the spells and you've been breaking spells and karmic contracts that no longer serve you and also becoming aware that the world runs on spells the media r puts out a particular story that runs on spells that's why it's called spelling right if you want to write a sentence you're going to put yourself in a sentence within the paragraph of the life story that you're writing in the journal of your life. So what story are you telling? And now is the time for you to tell the story, for you to pick up the pen for your life and to write your own story. For you to be the one telling the story because your words have power. Your intention, your creative energy, that spark to be of service, to share the gifts that you've been given. And so psychic gifts are coming online. You're saying light codes are being activated in your DNA. Ascension sequences are being activated within the golden spiral, within your golden dragon light body and this is the Christos code the crystal consciousness within the waters of your body the Sophia right the divine masculine and the feminine aspects of our being being awakening that light within yourself and the reconfiguration of your subtle emotional bodies of your somatic body to to be in this increased capacity like an electrical capacity to expand and so i read the energy much like people read cards i sometimes i use cards but i consider these tools to be of divination to also be a capacity that i tap into when i do these collective readings and particularly paying attention to these signs that have been coming through your dreams, particularly that of resolving karmic loops, of coming into your power, coming into your gift. Perhaps you are a translator, perhaps you have psychic abilities. We all have psychic abilities. It's super natural. 
It's like learning how to play an instrument, right? The more that you fine tune your connection to source, the more you're able to feel your vibration, right? And this is what meditation helps us to do. And there's also meditations that you can tap into on this channel. There's a playlist actually, if you go to my page and you scroll down, I've curated some different activations and meditations, which I'm gonna be creating more of as well. And so there's this restoration, I feel, this inner child energy, this innocent energy, this full card energy that you're stepping into. Maybe there's been some shadows coming up around the vocal chakra. I'm seeing some things around the solar plexus, around really being in your power and clearing of the sacral as well, being in your own inner authority, <clears throat> healing of your creative energy to be a clear and open channel, to be a pure vessel for what wants to come through. Old stuff has been getting cleared out. It's like you're going up and you're going down, you're coming in, you're coming out. And you've been ha facing these shadows of old relationship patterns that were taking away your power. You were giving away your power. What's that quote that they say? The best way to stay empowered is to not give away your power in the first place. And you're coming to this place of responsibility, of the ability to respond and to recognize that where you put your attention, your energy flows. So what are you voting for with the dollars of your mind? So you're no longer buying into that rat race mentality. And you're investing into the divine imagination of thriving. You've been putting your energy, you've been, you've been putting your money where your mouth is. You've been investing and, and pivoting into this new reality over time. And now the eggs are ripe and they're filling up the basket. And you wondered why for so long, where were, the, what, where were, where were they? What was going on? What was, and that was because there was a culling, there was a clearing happening that you were being prepared, you were being humbled, you were being taught in this mystery school of life to be truly righteous, to be truly royal in the sense of the word of that etheric crown that you already are a spiritual sovereign, you already are a spiritual royal in the divines of this army of angels recognized eternally in, and you already have spiritual sovereignty. What a blessing, what a blessing. What a blessing, what a blessing, right? And now that's coming into the physical where you're not egotistical, like I need to be recognized as, as a king or a queen or you know, so on and so forth. And you have had all these different lives of being, you know, king, queen, empress, emperor, pharaoh, Pharisee, those different archetypes of royalty. But it doesn't even matter to you. The titles, the, the status, you look at these things, it's it's all it's all, but the true royalty is that spiritual sovereignty. And now it's starting that crown that you have already have in the etheric plane is now manifesting into the physical as the pentacle, as that 10 of pentacles, as that success, as that expansion, as that right place, right time, community support, as that, you know, collective consciousness connected to your gifts, knowing and your place, finding your purpose has been this whole journey of coming into alignment with what wants to come through you, right? Stepping out of your own way, getting into the flow state, doing what you love for the sake of that precious moment knowing that that is the participation in the art of life that then you put forward that energy and you've been putting forward that energy and it's built and now it's to this point of it's built into an energy ball that's expanding your capacity for this multi-dimensional experience is expanded your ability to face these shadows as they're coming up is expand it is your power to transmute these dense dark energies is 
expand it. It's, there's a powerful energy that you have by being empathic. And not in this special spiritual ego way, <laughs> but just in the way of being an awakened presence on the planet, let's just be real, that can feel into these multi-dimensional layers, at least at this time, is actually a rare thing due to the awareness. Is it available to everyone? Of course. So you're not special in that way, but you are unique in the capacity of the role that you have as an awakened light worker, because you wouldn't be drawn to this type of information if you were not of the intention of the highest service of all beings, of the liberation of all beings, of the liberation of suffering, of the highest benefit of all, aligning the individual will with the divine will in service to the whole, in service to the awakening, right? And that is why we came here with this Blu-ray consciousness coming in right now. And if you'd like to tune more into the Blu-ray consciousness, please check out the last video. So thank you for tuning in. If you'd like to support this video, you can do that by liking. Please subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of future videos. And if you would like to leave a comment about what resonates in your journey, what medicine or downloads maybe you could share with the collective that is most welcome to all you beautiful beings out there in the multiverse here on Gaia. Blessings and have a beautiful day.